Welcome to Watch Grid's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is BrickerBot. Researchers at Radware have used their IoT honey net to find two different attack campaigns they call BrickerBot 1 and BrickerBot 2. And this attack campaign essentially door stops or bricks IoT devices. Essentially, they're finding uh, some attack campaign out there that's scanning for devices that are listening on the Telenet or SSH ports, just like the Mirai botnet did. Also like Mirai, it then tries to use default packages passwords to gain access to these devices. However, unlike Mirai, it doesn't actually install malware onto these devices. Rather, it uh, messes with file systems and other things to essentially make these devices inoperable. While they're not technically bricked, you can recover them. It's going to take quite a bit of work to get them back into working order. According to Radware's blog post, the first attack seemed to be going after uh, operating systems that were mostly used by IoT class devices. However, the second attack seemed to work against any Linux machine that was listening on Telenet and SSH ports. In any case, it's an interesting and rather destructive attack, and one that I don't think that cyber criminals are responsible for. Most cyber criminals who want to monetize their attack won't destroy the computer or device that has the data or resources they're going after. Now, the good news is this is really simple to prevent. In fact, smart users shouldn't even be affected by it. So what can you do? Well, first of all, you should never expose Telenet on the internet. Uh, Telenet isn't encrypted. It's simply a service that no longer belongs on the internet, only on internal networks, if even then. Frankly, it shouldn't exist at all because there are more secure options like SSH, which allow encryption. That said, attackers seem to also be leveraging this through SSH. So the second tip is you should never use a default password. You should always change this. If you simply change the default password of your devices, you're going to be safe from these stupid attacks that just try to go after the default password of your device. Another tip is even in cases where you do want to allow uh, SSH access to remote users, you should put other access controls around it. You shouldn't have a policy letting anyone on the internet access your command line interfaces. You can always do things like requiring user authentication, limiting it to certain IPs, or even requiring VPN for this sort of access. Anyways, be on the lookout for the destructive Bricker bot, but you can make yourself pretty safe by making sure that you're not exposing Telenet or SSH to the internet. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.